Speaking of Keystone, uh, Chris Christie was in Canada uh, this past week. He was talking about how pro-energy he is. He says there's no excuse for the Obama administration to hold up the Keystone pipeline. Uh, another sign that Chris Christie is seriously inching toward a 2016 presidential run, and his team thinks this is more easy to do, uh, less less controversial to do because of the report we expect it to be made public today uh, from the state legislative committee looking into Bridgegate. Now the committee says there are still some unanswered questions. There's some deleted text there they say they couldn't figure out, but they also found zero evidence that Chris Christie was directly involved, that he picked up the phone and said, close those traffic lanes, shut down the bridge. Uh, how important is this to Chris Christie and is it behind, is it completely behind him or are there still things to worry about. I mean, it's hugely important in the sense that no one has been able to find a direct connection. If there had been a direct connection, it's very difficult to see how he could make really a credible bid for the presidency. At the same time, this reminds me a little bit about a little bit of Benghazi, where you have multiple reports that are going to keep being done, yes. and people who want to find something in there will continue to dig and continue to try to make this an issue. The, the big question is what the U.S. attorney in New Jersey right. does. A Democratic uh, appointee uh, who obviously has got significant legal authority. Uh, the job that uh, Christie himself uh, previously had, John, uh, I think that will be telling. But I think this is a step forward for Chris Christie. Uh, you know, yes, it's one more committee, but uh, getting this behind him, uh, as long as the sword's hanging over his neck, it's going to be hard for him to go forward with the campaign. So the more of these reports that he can get behind him, the better. It's still interesting to see if a guy from New Jersey, who says he's a conservative, but a lot of grassroots Republicans still think he's more of a moderate. They think right. he's in New England. They think he's more Mitt Romney. Yeah. Uh, some, we'll see how he can sell himself out there. But all systems seem to be go at the moment for Chris Christie.